hello everyone. It's 4 p.m. Central European time. I see still high joining activity. We have uh, about 150 participants and counting. Uh, very warm uh, welcome from my side on our event today, Smart Switchgear Let's Go Digital, pre-designed switchgear solution to save time and maximize reliability. Let's start with some short introduction before our presentation. First, let me introduce myself and the colleagues I am here with uh, today. My name is Raya Kostova. I am Global Training Support Specialist, part of the ABB Electrification Business Area, Smart Power Division. With me here today, I have Alexander Gervic, Global Application Specialist, and Alberto Sanino, Market Developer for ABB Ability, both from ABB Electrification Business Area, Smart Power Division. Saying hello to Alexander and Alberto. Hello, Raya. Hi, Alberto. Hello, Raya. Hello, hello. So before we start, a few housekeeping rules uh, from my side, everyone. Our event today will take approximately one hour. Uh, the first part will be presentation, and then uh, at the end of it, we will have uh, some time for a question and uh, answer session. Uh, before this, uh, I would like to also announce that during our event today, we'll, you will have the chance to use Slido for some polls we have prepared for you. So now I would like to ask you all, if possible, to scan this QR code or to use the link and give us some feedback if you're able to uh, use Slido. Please check in the box. We'll give uh, a few, few seconds to see if you're able to use it online on your phone or also if you like, uh, it can be a desktop app. I see already votes are coming. A uh, few, few more words about the event today. Uh, it will be recorded uh, and uh, the materials of it, uh, the webinar recording and the uh, presentation will be shared with you in the next few days. I see good feedback about the slide though. People keep on checking on the box. Uh, thank you very much for this. Now, very, very quickly, I would like to introduce you the agenda of today's event. First, uh, you will see some market trends. Uh, then we will continue with new requirements in uh, electrical distribution, followed by smart switch gear. Uh, then we will give you a short virtual demonstration from uh, one of our colleagues today. And our value proposition is the next. And at the end, uh, it, we will have intelligent switch gear for a large building example. So that was all from my side for now. I would like to now hand over to Alec, who will start the presentation. Thank you very much, everyone, and enjoy the event. Thank you very much, Raya, and thank you, everyone, for joining this webinar. I hope you will enjoy today's topic, which is Smart Switch Gear. This is actually the part of our webinar series on intelligent distribution. We already did couple of webinars, in particular, smart, switch, smart low voltage electrical distribution, smart solutions to upgrade a low voltage electrical installation. Switches and fuse gears have never been more connected. If you haven't been able to join us on our previous webinars, we invite you to watch the recordings, which are available for free on demand. And as Ryan mentioned, we are also going to share this material with you so you can uh, access to those links, follow those links, and again, get the recordings of previous webinars. What is the reason why we are speaking about intelligent distribution? Let's look at the technologies which are actually changing the world as we know. It. Digitalization, of course, is the one word which describes the today's environment we are living in. Just look what happens in, in a minute over the internet. And this was a study done in 2019. Imagine the numbers from uh, 2020. So definitely those new technologies, uh, such as cloud computing, big data, internet of things, artificial intelligence, industry 4.0, are the phenomena which are changing also the approach and the way we know the electric distribution. So by going from having a distant generation 
distribution and consumption of electricity. Today, we have a distributed energy resources. We have basically a mix of production and consumption, as well as, of course, uh, the transportation of the electric energy. So, the integration of the renewables, the battery and energy storage systems, the electric vehicle chargers, which are, of course, connected to the electric vehicles, are all changing the electrical world as we knew it up to today. And let's have a closer look to the low voltage distribution. So if we look at the low voltage distribution in the past, we could usually find just one smart device, actually one smart meter, which was there to collect only the information on the energy and power consumption. And this information was used mostly for the billing purposes. So basically for charging uh, for the electricity consumed. Over the years, we figured out that by applying more metering points, more devices, more smart components in the electric infrastructures, well, we are and we have been able to gather more information and to improve the operation and performance of our low voltage installation. It includes the improvement in the energy efficiency, improvement in the continuity of service. So all this actual information was usually and is usually now locally monitored by a, a monitoring system and some of the points are um, uh, monitored actually. Uh, so also this is supported by the new standards and regulations such as for example IEC 6364-8-1 which is asking you to have more detail and more information uh, coming from your low voltage infrastructure. Uh, also, uh, regulations such as ISO 5001 or uh, LEED certifications. Following this trend and looking at the market and what, is, what devices are available today, so all the smart devices which can be connected to the low voltage infrastructures, we may expect that in the future we will have more and more uh, connected components, all of them producing a huge amount of data, and then this data actually needs to be turned into valuable information for the end user, for the customers. Uh, we can actually leverage on the technologies we just mentioned. So using the cloud computing, big data, um, artificial intelligence, machine learning, we can turn, turn this data into simple but very valuable and powerful information. Just to mention a predictive maintenance, for example, from ABB. So uh, this is uh, something that we spoke about during the last webinar, and we are going to share with you uh, some information also today. And really, in the heart of this intelligent distribution and low voltage systems is a smart switch gear. And this is the place where we connect all the components together, where we place our smart devices, our protection devices. Both connect them electrically, of course, to allow the uh, power flows, but also today in a digital way as well, allowing communication between those devices and allowing even their communication to the cloud systems. So that's why ABB has realized a very simple but very effective solutions to support the market requirements for the reliability and for the energy efficiency, as well as for the space saving. So today you are going to see an example and a design package to which fits customer needs and which is helping to design, build, install, and operate the electric installation. Our solution is aimed to answer different market requirements which is cross-segment and cross-application. So please stay tuned and you will see more information on this. But before going in details with our solution, uh, we would like to introduce you to our ABB Experience Center in Bergamo, Italy. Uh, this is the place where actually we meet our customers and our colleagues, where we exchange our knowledge and information, where we also do test and validate our equipment. 
but unfortunately, due to the pandemic situation, we are not allowed and not able to host customers and even our colleagues. So we decided to turn our experience center into a virtual experience center to be still able to show you at least something that we are capable to do there. Uh, my colleague, Alberto Sanino, who is here with us, um, was there and by, of course, following all the safety rules imposed by our company and also by Italian government, he made a very nice video to show you at least some of the features that we can offer for the intelligent distribution. Without further ado, uh, I would like to ask Raya if she could uh, play this video for us. Welcome to the Smart Power Experience Center in Bergamo, and in particular to the Open Lab, a place where we do test and validate our digital and technical solution from Smart Power Low Voltage Portfolio. I'm here today to show you some of the latest technology and communication capabilities that we can offer to build up an intelligent distribution switch gear. As technology leader, ABB is developing innovative solutions to answer most of the demanding market requirements for safe, secure, and sustainable energy. During the recent year, we have launched a unique low voltage distribution solution tailored to answer those requirements. Using our demo switchboard from the range of the main distribution system, the system Pro Power, we want to show you how easy to create an intelligent switch gear with smart devices, able to monitor low voltage electrical installation, exchange information, perform logics, and communicate to a remote monitoring system or a SCADA. Let's start with the protection devices ranging from 160 amp of a nominal current all the way to 6,300 amps. ABB molded cases circuit breaker called TMAX XT and air circuit breaker called EMAX2. Both are offering the same user experience over the whole range. Those devices can perform class one accuracy measurements certified according to the ISC 61557-12, including network analyzer able to monitor up to the fifth harmonic of voltage and current. In case that you need automatic transfer switches between two power sources, you can use our ATS called True One, which in the same way as Circuit Breaker is offering a complete monitoring and communication of electrical and non-electrical parameter. In addition to those devices, this demo switch gear features other ABB low voltage smart devices able to perform monitoring, control and communication such as the ABB Fuse Gear Slimline XR, ABB Argar System TVOC2, Universal Motor Controller, and 4 m as Network Analyzer. And now, let's have a look how we can use the already necessary devices to protect the plant to create a simple architecture covering the whole low voltage installation without additional devices or components. To locally monitor our smart devices, you can use light panel, a seven inch display that allows you to have local monitoring and control of the connected devices. We can have up to 20 devices connected via TCP IP Modbus protocol and also RTU connectivity. Thanks to this HMI, you can browse different information from a general view to a detailed parameter about the measurement, for instance, like current and voltages. Thanks to TCP IP protocol, here you can see how, thanks to one single RJ45 cable connected to the main Ethernet switch, you can retrieve all the relevant data to send command connected to the field devices, increasing the speed of installation and commissioning. So how do you connect ABB smart devices? Let's take an example to our range of molded case circuit breaker like TMAX XT in this case, where we have all the functionalities embedded in one device from capabilities and metering point of view. In detail, you can see how it's possible to apply a concept hindered from the EMAX2 range, the cartridge concept. If a customer needs to use more protocol at the same time, ABB offers several protocol communication 
and we can use this external cartridge to install the needed module to integrate the device within a supervision system. Thanks to the cartridge module, TMAX XT, as well as TMAX 2, True 1, and the Keep Path are also suitable to become a master into an architecture for cloud connectivity by adding the ComHub cartridge module. In this way, these devices can collect all the data from the smart devices connected in the, in the plant, and they can push the, cloud, the data to the cloud to the ability Energy and Asset Manager. As we said, the cartridge concept was born with Emax2 Air Circuit Breaker. This system allows flexibility and easy installation to upgrade our devices thanks to this cartridge module. In addition, we need to remind that all Equip Touch and Die Touch trip unit version for ACBs and MCCBs can be upgradable thanks to the possibility to unlock new functions and features by purchasing dedicated package via ABB Ability Marketplace. Well, we have seen some of the features applicable today to the main distribution like uh, Emax2 and Emax XT. Now I'd like to spend some words talking about sub-distribution. Also in this case, OBB offers communication, connectivity monitoring solution to increase the possibility to collect data to keep everything under control in the easiest way by leveraging on cloud platform or connecting devices to the supervision system. Here, we have the CMS 700, a branch monitoring devices, and Slimline XR, low voltage fuse gear. In particular, I would like to show you some of the details about the architecture and the features. For CMS 700, here we have sensors that can be installed directly on top of the miniature circuit breaker. And this is the main unit to collect all the data. We can have up to 96 con sensors connected to one single main unit and to share data directly to the cloud platform via TCP protocol. Then we have the Slimline XR that is another device that offers the possibility of embedded monitoring capabilities and metering capabilities via a dedicated model called ITS2. Well, we have seen some of the main features that ABB offers thanks to its digital portfolio to get today's switchboard more intelligent. We have seen how we can embed metering, how simple it is to create intelligent switch gear by directly connecting devices and how easy it is to connect to any local monitoring system or just in a few minutes have a complete installation monitoring the cloud. I just want you to give you the flavor about ABB contribution to the future of the electrification and how ABB is always focused to drive the technology offering solution for a sustainable future. More information about intelligent distribution switch gear are available to dedicated ABB web page. Thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video and hope you at least got some flavor of what our devices, what our smart devices uh, can do and how they get connected and also integrated into monitoring systems. So when we speak about smart switch gear by ABB, what are the values we offer to our customers? First one is really a flexibility. As you saw, we have minimized the number of components, so you are actually using the devices which are protecting your circuits, your cables, your loads, which are in any case necessary for your uh, distribution. They are also used for the complete monitoring and metering of the uh, installation for gathering all this data we mentioned. So, thanks to this, our solution is simple to realize and it offers up to 66% less cabling and up to 10% less connectivity components. You saw basically that all our devices are connected to the uh, Ethernet switch and then they could be connected to the local monitoring system or to the uh, cloud system just by adding one more module to devices. So once you get your switch gear digitalized, you can start improving your energy efficiency by 7% in case if you just apply the monitoring. This is coming from the study which was performed in the Nordic countries on multiple uh, on the multiple facilities where the facilities were observed once they have applied a digital monitoring. 
So with this digital monitoring, they were able to achieve 7% of the energy efficiency improvement. By further controls, which is also enabled with our devices, you can get even up to 20% reduction in your electricity bill. So simplicity actually means increase in the service continuity. What is the reason for this? It's actually because once you have less components, less devices, it means that you have less points of failures, which means actually that you improve your reliability. Furthermore, having a digitalized infrastructure, it uh, means that you can have a complete monitoring of your installation. So together with the predictive maintenance feature, we can offer you even up to 36% less maintenance cost. Finally, you can improve your switch gear during its life cycle, even with zero downtime. The reason for this is that you have a digitally enabled component. So what Alberto showed you in the uh, our, on our demo switch gear, so network analyzer, for example, you can unlock this function at, from any time, at any time from any place, actually, uh, using our marketplace. So this is just an example how digitalization helps you to be future-proof. So we want to help our customers. For the panel builders, we offer really easy integration of our components into traditional switch gear. Again, thanks to the feature that we do not have additional components needed. So with this also comes no additional time and effort needed when building an uh, intelligent and smart switch gear. So thanks to our detailed design, we are, we are minimizing the time needed, and again, thanks to this simplicity, we are reducing the potential mistakes, and you will see very soon the package of documentation we prepared, which really helps you to understand how to, to connect all the components together. Uh, if you are dealing with the design of the electric installation, we offer you a pre-designed but flexible solution, which is standard compliant, and which can fit any installation. So we know that every project is different, but we have created a flexible, design, flexible enough design which can fit into different installation and different market requirements. The smart switch gear is, the, is part of the electric installation, which is then part of the overall system. It means that in order to have the right performance of your facility, for, for example, you need to have all the systems integrated and working together. So our solution for this intelligent distribution and smart switch gear is very easy to integrate with the electrical, but even non-electrical part of the installation. Of course, we want to help the end users to improve the energy efficiency, to maximize their operation, and to minimize their uh, total cost of ownership. So you choose when to invest, so when to get new features on your uh, smart switch gear, and also we allow you a, a future improvements so or future-proof design, so you can decide when to allow new improvements on the, on the switch gear. So, as Ryan mentioned at the beginning, we would like to have an interactive uh, presentation today. So, we have prepared some questions for you. We would really appreciate your feedback. So, if you could use a Slido, you can access it with your mobile phone or through the web browser. Uh, and please, could you answer to the following question? What kind of documentation are you usually using for realizing a connected and smart switch here? So what are the documents, what is, um, what is that you in your business, or if, you are a panel, if you are a panel builder or consultant, EPC, uh, system integrator, even an end user, what is the documentation you, you need? Is it an example of a complete switch gear design? Maybe you are using the software tools. So with the software tool, 
you can maybe use the macros for, for different switch gears or for different components. Maybe you have a set of reference switch gear which is classified by applications, solutions, segments, and then you are choosing from, from those. Uh, maybe it's enough for you to have a detailed project product, excuse me, detailed product documentation, and then based on this documentation, you build a switch gear. I see answer already coming. And in case you select other, we also ask you if you could write down uh, what 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 are you typically using again for, for the smart switch gear. I see many answers coming. I leave you also some time so that you can also follow the presentation, but we will leave uh, this survey open so that you can answer also later if you are still thinking. Okay, I can say that actually the software tools as well as product documentation are the winning choices still, although set of reference uh, switch gear design is also something that, that uh, you are using today. Okay, let me go to the next slide. So what we have prepared for you is the intelligent switch gear example. We have based this example on a case study, which is based on a large building. So we mentioned we wanted to be flexible to fit into different project requirements, different installation requirements. So we wanted to, of course, to answer first of all on the main market drivers and main market requirements. So today's building require a continuous power supply. This is, of course, always important and always in the first place but also sustainability becomes a, a, a first, a second or a, even a first need in many cases. Uh, just to give you an example, the European Directive is asking that starting this year, every new building needs to be a zero emission building. It means that you need to improve the energy efficiency, so you need to have as efficient as possible uh, building of course, electric installation as well. How do you do it? You saw an example by monitoring, you can achieve immediately 7% uh, improvement in the efficiency. You can start integrating renewable energy sources to reach this zero emission. But you also want to be flexible enough. You want that your solution is replicable cross segment, cross applications. And you want to keep this high efficiency, this sustainability, continuity of service by continuously uh, monitoring and uh, performing the maintenance, of course, thanks to even a predictive maintenance feature that we offer. And for further improvements, you can even apply some automation logic in order to uh, maximize, again, the operation of your facility. So our intelligence with gear example we realized is for the main distribution board of your low voltage distribution. Uh, in our case, we have realized the generic configuration having two incomers. Having two incomers and a, a bus tie coupler. Uh, the rated current is 1,600 amps with the ICW, so short circuit current rating of 50 kiloamps. As you can see, we also consider that we have some critical loads. It means that we are able to supply uh, from one or the other source. So for this reason, we needed the automatic transfer switching between uh, two sources, and we have applied the ATS-022 for the main time, main open transition. We have a multiple outgoings for various loads, and this whole switch gear, in a minute Alberto will share with you more details, is actually completely digitalized with the full monitoring capabilities and also predicting maintenance feature. We mentioned predictive maintenance, so all our devices gather and produce huge amount of data. We using the cloud algorithm, so very complex algorithm, 
turn this data into very simple information, such as when the next maintenance is needed and what is the health status of your facility. So we really aim to minimize the complexity and, as we mentioned, to maximize the flexibility. Having said that, I would like to leave the word once again to Alberto, who will share with you more details on this switchgear design. I'll be back with you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Alec, and uh, welcome uh, to all of you also from my side to, to this webinar. So let's have a look now to the detail about uh, the configuration of uh, this uh, smart speech gear. First of all, we used uh, our system pro e power to perform all the solution that you will find in this uh, detailed uh, package documentation. And uh, we have actually two in cameras and a bus coupler with uh, 1,600 amps, uh, 50 kilo amps. Uh, Baking capacity. So the IP is a 30 and with a segregation of a 3B form. Then the trip units that we have used are the Equip iTouch, where actually we have seen also in the video, are the ones that are allowing to have embedding, metering, and all the capabilities communication functionality already available. And having the same concept, we selected the same trip unit also for the molded case circuit breaker. So here we can leverage on the unique uh, architecture and platform from the device's point of view, from molded case circuit breaker to air circuit breaker. We have leverage on the TCP IP protocol connection, so we will see in a while also this detail about uh, the communication of, uh, of the devices. And then we can see that both uh, wings have the uh, outcomings uh, at the parallel way. So actually here has been also thought uh, as a template uh, to be modular. So we can see here in a while how actually in case that you, know, you need to extend or you need to modify this template, you can keep uh, this concept and replicate the same column in order actually to increase or decrease, of course, the uh, design of this switch gear based on the need of your uh, of your project. So starting from here, we can have a basic template, but can be fully customizable. And uh, for the upcoming wing, here you can see that we have uh, the main um, the main uh, MCCB with. Uh, they are going with all the capabilities to be connected via TCP IP, and here you have the um, Ethernet switch, where actually we are going to connect all the cables coming from these devices, and then we have the possibility to have one of these uh, air circuit breakers capable to act as a master as the cloud architecture. And so starting from here, we can push the data to cloud and collect all the data from all these devices connected. So we also follow the architecture in line with the maximum number of connectable devices to each gateway embedded in the circuit breaker. So also from this point of view, the solution is safe from connectivity point of view as well. Then in the part of the incoming, we have the incoming one, incoming two, and the coupler with this part of the column where you have all the compartments with the supply power and also the ATS main unit in order to manage the automatic transfer switch that we have seen also in the previous slide shown by Alec. Okay, now here you find in this deck the link to the dedicated web page to the smart switch here where you can collect all the information and the available information free of charge that you can directly download in a complete software package. So starting from the single line diagram, the functional scheme, the communication connection, then the complete specification of the, 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 the switch gear and the bus bar layout. In addition to this, you have also an ex execution file that is actually a 3D model, physical model, that you can browse, you can play with it, exploring all the details about how we have built up the, the switch gear 
having all the information and also the measurement, and we will see also this kind of function within this, uh, this file. So you can definitely have all the details about how to replicate uh, in the detail this kind of uh, switch here. Here we have some uh, highlights from uh, the um, project document. So in this first one, uh, you have uh, the concept of the architecture. As we said, we have used TCP IP connectivity, so you can see all the information about how the protocol, this connect, the device's protocol are connected one each other to the Ethernet switch and then to the main gateways pushing the data to the cloud. Then in order to replicate all the wiring the connectivity, you have this single line diagram with all the details according also to the information contained in the catalog. So you don't need to switch from a catalog to another, but you have one comprehensive document that allows you to browse page by page, having all the detailed connectivity information to replicate the architecture that we have proposed in this template. And the, B, the, B, the, B, the, the BOM, the BOM, the bill of material. But actually, you have all of the information that can be uh, suitable to replicate and in order to purchase the devices required to replicate this, uh, this system. As we said, since we are using our system for power, we are focused also on the connectivity from the bus bar point of view. So here we have the bus bar layout with all the information where you can find all the components, like the cross pieces, the brackets, the anchor plates. So you have all the information in order to replicate the, um, the switch here. You have also the 3D bus bar layout. So also in this case, you know exactly where you need to bend the bus bar in order to fit perfectly the layout of the switch gear that we have proposed in this example, and the bomb, the bill of material. So you have also the Excel, uh, Excel file that you can copy and paste or you can modify based on, the, on your needs in case that, uh, of course, you need to adjust it uh, based on your uh, specific project. This is the, some screenshots of the execution file that uh, you will uh, find in the software package content. That is uh, an Excel file where you have the possibility to navigate. So you have a navigation toolbar with the zoom in, zoom out, the possibility to have a different visualization of the switch gear. Then the toolbar um, in order to make the explosion of the uh, detail of the, of the devices or making some measurements of all the advanced tool or the uh, last one, the option tool, where actually you can take uh, some annotation in case that you need to perform some further um, thoughts directly on this uh, um, template. Here, you can see how actually you can choose also how to visualize these, uh, this switch gear. So you have actually the full rendering or you can keep it uh, with, uh, with the drawing in the simplest way in order just to have an idea where uh, the devices are uh, played. And actually you have also the possibility to change a bit the shape of this. Here you have the section in order to have an exact detail where the connectivity from bus bar point of view has been done, how the, the bus bar has been bent. So you can go in the complete detail about this uh, uh, PROE has been created in order to fit uh, this project needs. As I said already, in the toolbar you have the measurement, so you can take uh, the measurement inside directly this uh, 3D model in order to have uh, all uh, information also to check uh, which are the insulation uh, or any other relevant uh, uh, information that you want to check uh, directly from uh, this drawing, and then uh, you can uh, have this kind of information in a glance. 
Last, this is an example of how you can explode, let's say, as an explosion of, uh, of the blowing, and where actually you can, uh, again, uh, the advantage here is that you can see exactly the, each particular that uh, is composed uh, in, uh, in, this, um, in this switch here. So actually, this is just uh, how you can uh, browse the main uh, information uh, or the main content from uh, these uh, package of documentation that you will find available in the link that again you will we will leave in this presentation so you will find all of these details available there you can browse you can navigate and then you can reuse all these set of documentation in order to realize your solution according to your project and now it's time for another pool if I'm not wrong and so I hand over to Alec so we can uh, move forward with uh, with our webinar. Thank you very much, Alberto. I hope that you found very interesting what we just showed you. And I would actually, together with this, I, I would like to ask you again a question. So how would you describe the material and the concept you saw, you just saw, so you saw today? Our intelligence switch gear example, Alberto was showing you, is it something that you would describe as a very useful for your daily business? Uh, is it useful, but you would appreciate to have the same material per application segment? So for example, having an intelligence switch gear for marine, for office building, for uh, shopping mall, for food and beverage project, or maybe even a specific, a certain factory, and so on. You find it useful, but you need to have it integrated into the software tool that you are using. So e-design, for example, or e-planning, or any other third-party or ABB software tool. Uh, maybe it's not useful for your business. Maybe it's not even relevant for your business, so you are the end user in case, or some, someone who is not dealing really with the design, with the building, building of the switch gear, and so on integration, or you are using a different type of uh, switchboard. So you have different enclosures and you think that you cannot fit the same concept into your enclosure or into your type of, of switchboard or switch gear that you are producing, using, designing, or maybe something else. So of course, once again, if it's other, we would appreciate if you could write down uh, what, what you mean under, under other. I already see many of the answer coming. Thank you very much. We really appreciate your feedback. It's really valuable for us, definitely. And thanks for Alberto once again for sharing with us all the details. So, yeah, very interesting. I need to say that um, I, I, we are pleased to see that that very, very even <laughs> none of you answered that it's not useful for your business or not relevant for your business. So that's, that's good feedback. Okay. I will, I will leave still the pool open since actually this was the last slide of, of the presentation. We will have a Q and A session. So please stay tuned. But before jumping to the Q and A, I would like to share with you some useful links. So as we mentioned, this is the part of our intelligent distribution concept and campaign. Uh, connected to this, we have web pages and documentation that you might, might find useful, both if you are dealing with a smart switch gear, but also if you are dealing with an intelligent distribution. So please follow the, the, the links and download the documents, also navigate our websites. I'm pretty sure you will find uh, many uh, useful information for, for your business. Uh, together with this, I would take the opportunity to invite you uh, for our next webinar, especially because it will be on the art flash protection and mitigation solutions. So this is very well connected to the concept of the smart switch gear we explained today. So safety, of course, first of all, of people is of paramount importance, as well as of the assets. We saw how important it is to keep the continuity of service of your installation. And you will discover how to protect your uh, installation people from an art flash incident. 
you will see the examples of the same smart switch gear concept as you saw today for the low voltage distribution, but we are also going to speak about the medium voltage. So please connect to our next webinar, which will be on Thursday, March 11th. And again, you can choose between two sessions. One is at 9 a.m. Central European time, and second one is at 4 p.m. Central European time. We will be back with you soon with the invitation uh, for this uh, webinar. Having said that, I would like now to open the, the Q&A session. I leave the word once again to Rai. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, uh, Alberto and Alec, uh, for your uh, presentation. Now, everyone, uh, uh, it's time for question and answer session. We we have about 15 minutes, so I think it's enough uh, uh, time to discuss uh, what you need uh, and to give uh, any feedback. So please use the chat box, which is located on the right-hand side of the screen, to raise all your questions. Uh, and meanwhile, while the presentation was going, I already saw some questions, so I believe we can we can start with them. Thank you very much. Okay, maybe I can take the first one. So I see the first question, is this 3D switch gear model program available? So maybe something that Alberto presented, also I, I can answer, no, no problem. Uh, this is actually an execution, so exe file, so you don't need any external tool or any external software by simply downloading from our website the Smart Switch Gear is in a zip file, so you will get all the documents together. One of the documents is this exe file, and then by simply opening it, you will see the same tool that Alberto was showing you, the, the screenshots. Alberto, you're maybe on mute if you would like to take the next question. Yep, yeah, give me just a while. Okay, maybe in the meantime, so there is a question, what are the main differences and similarities between the following definitions of our switch gears? Smart, intelligent, digital? And I would say that it's, it's an interesting question. So I would say that they are quite synonyms. So they are more or less the same. When we say smart switch gear, we usually speak more around the concept of our smart switch gear. We use the term intelligent switch gear for the example we produced. Anyhow, it's just an example of the smart switch gear. So also the intelligent switch gear is smart. And to be smart, of course, it needs to be digitalized. So it needs to be able to communicate, to perform the measurement, to perform the advanced logics, and uh, eventually to answer the requirements of the market for the continuity of service, for the energy efficiency, for uh, simplicity, flexibility. So we achieve this thanks to digitalization, actually. Okay, I can take uh, one question about the bomb related to the ACB MAX2 and CCB60. Uh, so you can find, uh, yes, all the information about uh, the uh, modules that are required to achieve uh, the communication function and all the capabilities for this uh, smart speech here are uh, contained uh, in the content package. So in the bill of material, you will find uh, all the information about uh, which are the items you need to, to purchase to, to replicate actually this kind of, uh, of solution. Okay, I see some similar questions, to be honest. Um, so uh, many of you, yeah, uh, comment what type of switch gear, so why System Pro E power and so on. So we took an example, as, as we mentioned uh, previously to you guys. So this is also the reason why we asked you the uh, questions in our pools. So 
uh, we wanted to give an example. And also, we are curious to understand if it's uh, something that can fit your switch gear. So um, definitely our smart components, our devices, our concept of simple connectivity between the devices, of uh, simple cloud connection, predictive maintenance, stand for all the devices. Uh, we based, of course, on the System Pro E power, which is uh, ABB's enclosure, and we show you all the details, how to really connect and where to position uh, different devices. Um, so um, that's why we provide you the full documentation, and then you should be able to take this documentation, modify it a bit according to your project, according to your switch gear needs, according to your design, and apply it. But instead of starting from scratch, I would say, you already have a comprehensive documentation, an example, a nice 3D model to see uh, the size of the components. You can take the measurements. You can um, take out the plates and see all the details. So this is actually the aim of today's example of the smart switch gear. Of course, for those of you who are able to build and uh, buy a system System Pro E Power. This can be, of course, replicated one on one, as this is uh, uh, based on, uh, let me say, real project. So it's a real switch gear. It's not a demo unit, such as uh, Alberto show you in Experience Center. Okay, I think that I can take this one that is not directly related to the probably the topic, but it's very interesting because we we could have uh, some tool that of course ABB can provide, and I'm referring to the possibility to the input data to provide saving and the other tool for helping the calculation. So here we have uh, uh, you can get in contact with uh, the ABB colleagues. Uh, uh, that um, can guide you in order to to have access uh, to this uh, to this kind of tool in order actually to perform some uh, estimation and calculation about the 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 data saving that uh, and the energy saving actually that you can have also with some uh, uh, possible evaluation the return of the investment so this is uh, something that uh, we do provide uh, as an internal tool so get in contact with the with the local reference. Uh, in the in ABB, and then uh, we can, uh, of course, uh, provide you this kind of, uh, of support if needed. Maybe meanwhile, uh, there is uh, something I can answer uh, too. Uh, it's uh, related to the material sharing. So uh, the materials uh, will be shared. This uh, session was recorded. The materials will be shared. We will share with you the presentation, the recorded uh, video, and the additional video that you saw, the one that uh, Alberto recorded for you. Also, the presentation will be shared with you uh, most probably in a PDF format. So uh, in the next uh, days, you will receive a separate communication about it. Okay, I take the occasion to reply to, thanks uh, Ryan, in the meantime, uh, I take the occasion to answer also to uh, this question, can we integrate this solution to existing substation? Uh, this is a very good one, um, because actually, and this is also related to the previous webinar that we have uh, delivered, and so this could be also the occasion to, to review one of those. Actually, yes, we do implement this kind of uh, digitalization solution also for existing substation. We have a possibility to perform a light update by using uh, additional hardware, and it comes to my mind the external digital truck unit called Equipat that can be used to upgrade uh, an existing uh, um, not smart, let's say, or not digital solution in order to retrieve the data and push them to the cloud, or another solution that came to my mind is uh, the retrofitting kit, so actually we can replace an existing store base still from ABB or in some cases from other manufacturer with ABB devices. And also in this case, we can leverage on the latest technology coming from Emax2, where actually we can embed the con all the connectivity capabilities with the um, cartridge module like the Comab to connect the data to the cloud or to interconnect 
the replacing devices to an existing supervision system like BMS or SCADA. So yes, the answer is, uh, at the end is yes, ADD offers uh, advanced digital solution also for existing substation. Thanks, Alberto. Uh, maybe I can take the next one. So there is a question. I would also like to know if there are carbon savings uh, calculations and examples available. That's a very interesting and very good question. So usually we spoke about energy efficiency. So this energy saving can be turned into the carbon footprint reduction, of course. Uh, we do have calculations, but usually those calculations go by project. So in case that you have a real project we are working on, um, we can take together this example and understand uh, what would be the exact saving on your project using the ABB solution and ABB equipment. So we try to give you a hint about general data such as 7% improvement. I saw also this question, how, how this is possible. This is actually, again, a study where uh, basically um, it was performed on multiple uh, facilities, so multiple installations, where by just applying the digital monitoring, so by opening your eyes, so knowing where your losses are going to, what might, if you might have some quality issues or uh, higher harmonics and so on, the users, so the uh, users who, who applied this uh, digital monitoring were able to improve on average 7% their, their efficiencies. Okay, I will take the next one that uh, by going smart on switch gear, does this help introducing and reducing the switch gear footprint? Yes, definitely. This is another very good catch because actually, thanks to the fact that we can leverage on embedding metering functionalities, embedded communication, we don't need to add additional components to the, to the layout or to the designing of the switchboard. And so actually, this can help us to reduce definitely the footprint. And this is uh, something that uh, came already from the Emacs 2. So Emacs 2 was already the leader in, in, this, uh, in, the, in this path, thanks to the fact that embedding all this functionality, actually, we can uh, reduce the, the footprint of a traditional uh, or compare to the one of the traditional switchboard. And now, also with the new range of uh, TMAX 60, actually, we are capable to offer the same platform. And so, Leveraging on, uh, on this concept, uh, definitely yes, we can reduce uh, the number of uh, items uh, in a switchboard, and so we can reduce definitely the footprint uh, of the of the switchboard itself. Good. Actually, I see many other questions uh, here, yeah, correct. and uh, but I see that we are also <laughs> one minute before closing the webinar. Uh, in any case, we are going to answer those question in uh, written form and come back to you. Uh, so together with, again, the whole, the recording, the documentation, all the links you asked, I see most, most of the questions actually uh, coming back to this. We are also uh, going to distribute the, the Q&A responses. So that would be all from our, my side. Thank you very much for, for your attention. Yeah, thank you. Back to my side. Thank you all, bye. Thank you once more for your presentation and thank you all for uh, all the questions that have been raised. Yes, we are going to uh, collect uh, all the questions and you will receive them as material as well. Thank you very much, everyone, and enjoy the rest of the day. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Bye.